If the carriage limiter is out of adjustment, the head will not find track zero when it recalibrates and you'll get an I.O. error. This module will show you how to adjust it. You'll need the drive you've been working on. You'll need a golden drive, and that just means one that you know for sure works. You'll need an apple and a monitor. You'll need a disc alignment aid. You'll need a scratch diskette. You'll need a feeler gauge and a couple of screwdrivers. Here's how you do it. First, you have to take the analog card off without unplugging it, which means undoing these two screws in the corner. And then you pull it forward to free it from the posts in the back, and then you have to free the read-write head wires and then prop it back this way. Be careful when you do this. If it falls back this way, it can cause shorts, and it can actually start a fire in this chip here. And that's uh, danger at, dangerous at worst and uh, embarrassing at the very least. If you don't believe me, ask those of us who've done it. Now, we're going to use the same setup as before, so I will turn off the power and the apple take the lid off and making sure that I did turn the power off unplug the interface card and plug the target disk into drive 2 position and plug it back into slot 6 okay I'll put the disk alignment aid in the golden drive and boot it up by turning it on I want to accept set target disk, and I want to set it for slot 6, drive 2. I'll press escape, and now I will select seek and accept that. You can hear the disk drive calibrate. Now, use my pointer here. This is the cam, and here's the spiral groove that the cam follower, which is this little brass gadget back here, follows. Right in front of the cam follower is a little white dot. There's a little detent in the cam, and we've painted it white, although it won't be painted white on the ones that you find. That is the track zero position. If you physically move the head assembly forward so that the cam follower is in that little detent, you know that you, when you move it back to the spiral groove, you will be in the track zero position. That's your reference point. When you're in the track zero position, the distance between the carriage limiter and the stepper motor shaft should be 20 thousandths of an inch. And this little projection here should clear the actuator cam by 20 thousandths also. Now we know that the, track, the head is in track zero, and gauging the clearances, if you want to adjust them, use this little screw here. Set it. And set it. and tighten it down. Now we want to check it. So we'll accept recalibrate and we'll check it again. Oh good. Good. Now to check it again, to uh, make sure that it stays in position, we will accept, we'll seek track 34 and check the other end and make sure that the little extension here doesn't touch the stepper motor shaft. And now I will go back to track zero and check it one more time and it stayed in. Splendid. Okay, you're ready to go back now after you've rewound the videotape and practice adjusting the carriage limiter. 
Do it until it seems easy and then ask your course manager to check your adjustment. Thank you.